Oh, come on. Out of all the days to have a news dump, you chose Thanksgiving. I have family stuff to do. Oh, jeez. All right, folks. Let's quickly go over all the premium shop deals. Then we'll talk about the super test of new vehicles. And finally, finishing it off with Arnold coming back. What? All right, fine. All right, let's see. 3D styles are on sale in the premium shop for a limited time until December 1st. So you have plenty of time, but uh, they actually put holiday op skin and black market skin. They didn't put all the holiday op skin. Why a few select few? That doesn't make sense. This one is pretty rare. It only be gotten from the car flipping deals thing. So that is pretty rare, but nobody plays the type five. Uh, we'll go over all of the rarity, but already went through all the rarity. Uh, Halloween skin, what the hell? Do you have the Halloween IS-7, which is the best one? You don't! Oh, yeah, you have it, thank God. Otherwise, it's just weird pick and mash, mix and bash, I don't know. Alright, fine. How much do these cost? Like, let's see. Uh, I like the IS-7 Halloween style, but how much does it cost? $23! <laughs> okay. Alright, that is... I mean, $10? Yeah, I'll pay $10 for the 3D style non-animated skin. That is like... Super high priced for a non-moving skin that doesn't do anything. That is way too much. 23 is... Way too big of a premium. Alright, none of that. Black vehicles. <laughs> it's been like, what, seven years? Six years? Since the debut? Ah, these piece of shits. <laughs> oh, black style. Blackface for your tanks. Uh, you can have the, ooh. The Skoda T56, Type 59, 703, and the GSOR. All in a bundle. Four of them. How much is this? Like 200 bucks? At uh, 200 bucks. <laughs> Alright, no. <laughs> None of that. The Feast is back. It's basically most of the premium tanks you could find. All stuffed into one package. 142 of them. How much does this cost? Like 500 bucks? I'm kind of underestimating it. 500 is like a big deal. It's like pretty good. For all the premium, but still, that's like a PS5 for all the premium tanks. I would rather have the PS5. Thank you very much. $1,000! <laughs> yeah, no. I'd rather have one PS5 and one Xbox. Thank you very much. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> Holy, $1,000! Uh, no, no thanks. Uh, you can also have your... Uh, T-shirts and model kits. I would like a Girls on Panzer model kit, but you don't have it, so... Licensing issue, but let's move on to... The actual super test. This is the European forms, but they have a Chinese heavy tank at tier 9. It's like a... 50 toilet paper. A little bit of the tur- it, it, Did you just stole the 50 toilet papers turret? <laughs> You stole, you, you stole the VZ-51's turret, you stole another turret from the Polish now, <laughs> instead of the Czechs. 130mm, long ass reload, accuracy is ick, aim time ick, gun depression, only 30 rounds, top speed is slow, really slow, horsepower per ton ratio is alright, but only 70 at the whole front, it is well sloped, but it should be a little bit bigger, or a little bit thicker. Than 70. Otherwise, it's a Lorraine 50T, practically, with just a good turret. And it's slow, so that's not good. They stole the 50 toilet papers turret! <laughs> with some random haul. Alright, fine, whatever. <laughs> uh, cause damage. Did they mention the turret? That they stole? No, they didn't. Alright. Tier 9! German! Ooh, tank destroyer! Wow! That looks like a UDS of sorts, or mix and mash with a 
Got a nine yak panzer in the rear. Interesting. 45 for the slope armor. Uh, that is actually pretty good. For such a sloping, that is pretty good. But it has a... It should be a 105 or so. Or is it a 90? That's a pretty good 90, but I think it's a 105. It doesn't have the alpha. But... 7 seconds of reload. It has siege mode. <laughs> it's a German version of an S tank. I like it. I already like it. I like Germans. I like S tank. I'll 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 pretty much love this thing. Pretty much. Uh, you have the siege mode with the hydro pneumatic suspension, which is nice. Uh, 65 kilometers per hour top speed. That's pretty good. Horsepower per ton ratio is also pretty high. It's pretty noble. Uh, mobile, noble. Uh, health at tier 9 is kind of low, and view range is kind of suck. It has a turret of sorts. Where the hell is the turret? It, that's a that's a mistake. I don't know. 45 is still pretty good for the front. Um, doesn't have the cage armor, but whatever. Or the little fence. It's still alright. I love the S tanks. I'll pretty much love this thing. Uh, seven seconds. Oh, it increase the reload time. It has better DPM while not in siege mode. So it's like the it's like the the Kampf Panzer practically. Yeah, it has the inverse DPM stuff of the Kampf Panzer, the medium tank. That is uh interesting. All right, fine. Or not the Kampf Panzer, the, the Kuhn's Panzer. My mistake. And the Japanese! With the Tank Destroyer! Is that premium? Premium! We're having the Japanese Tank Destroyer line! Alright! Alright. Uh, it's... 200 millimeters at tier 8. That's pretty good. So it's like a Fernand, but it looks like a Lorraine. Artillery, <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Uh, horsepower to ratio is not half bad. Top speed could be better. Only 30 rounds as far as AP, AP, and high explosives. Full crew, 7 degrees of gun depression. Accuracy is pretty good. Aim time is good. Real, uh, reload time for a... Is it 130? Oh, not, not half bad, but it's assault. Tank destroyer. Alright, fine, whatever. Oh, 127. Never mind. They, they said it right here. <laughs> oh, it's 105 for the the German and 130 for the Chinese. They stole the 50 toilet papers turret. <laughs> Alright. Well, yeah. News dump. And finally, on the news of Arnold coming back, there is premiering a new video for tomorrow, but it's upcoming. I can't, I can't, I can't even click it. It's, it's premiering in the next 17 hours. <clears throat> Keanu Reeves. That's a female leg. That's not Keanu. She's wearing boots. I have it on the Russian page too. So it's for all the servers. There is no limitation like with the, the battle pass of Warhammer stuff. But <clears throat> Keanu Reeves. <laughs> I mean, if you're th thinking about 80s action star, the only female I could think of is uh, Sigourney Weaver for Ellen Ripley in Alien, right? That's the only 80s female, definitive female action star. She sets the role of Ellen Ripley. That is the iconic role for a female protagonist. There's no other female Arnolds in the 70s or 80s. Even 90s when I think about it. Taylor Swift! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Selena Gomez! It's more Taylor Swift from this angle, I think. Yeah, it could be Taylor. <laughs> Alright folks, I have stuff to do today. I have to render this, but... Oh, God. Uh, most of the stuff in the premium shop is kind of meh, so not really. 11% off. You don't, Well, you normally don't get this thing, but... I also get 11 missions for 5x, whatever. Uh, for this, that's way too much. But if you want the vehicles, 
for a few years now, you could get it. So this thing spams gold like every other scum. <laughs> and $1,000 for all of these. Holy, that's that's like PS5 or two of it. All right, whatever. Yeah, funny. I, I'm enjoying the Japanese heavy or Japanese tank destroyer, heavy tank destroyer coming out. That is nuts. All right, folks. Hopefully you guys have a good Thanksgiving. Hopefully you guys are with family or with friends. If you're not, hopefully you guys are safe and enjoy a happy meal together with your best buds. But it's that time of the year. So I wish you guys a nice Thanksgiving and stay safe during Black Friday if you're going out. And hopefully have some good deals during the selling of stuff or the deal stuff department. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I guess it's time for us to go. And it's time for us to leave her. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, the voyage is done and the winds don't blow. And it's time for us.